You can find automatic speech to text dictation everywhere these days, and it's definitely got useful applications for English teaching. Want some ideas on what to use and how? I'm Joga Conga from elttraining.com and these ideas were inspired by a conversation with Nick Wilmshurst, a fellow CELTA trainer, so thanks Nick. I'm a reasonable typist, but I've been using a speech recognition program called Dragon Naturally Speaking for quite a long time. It learns your voice and the kind of technical words you use over time, and I find it really helpful in some parts of my work. You do have to pay for it though, and Microsoft Word has a dictation facility that works pretty well if you want to play with this too. Personally, I don't find it quite so accurate, but it's free, so that's a bonus. A few months ago though, I discovered a program called otter.ai, and I found all kinds of ways for it to be useful. You can use it in two ways. You can record what you want to say directly into the program, like this, or you can upload a pre-recorded audio or video file and it'll transcribe it. So what's so great about it? There are three reasons that I like it. Number one, there's a paid version and it does get better when you pay for it, but you can access it for some time each month and it's still enough to be really useful. Number two, it's very accurate over quite a range of different accents. Number three, it records what you say or upload and it produces an editable script. And this third one is what sets it apart from other dictation tools like Word and makes it potentially, I think, great with learners. Once you have a draft script in there, you can listen back to it and correct it as you go along. It's easy to stop and start and replay like this. Once you've got a draft script, you can start to edit it. So it's easy to stop it and start it. And after you've finished, you can download the script. So how is this helpful for learners, you ask? Here are a few ideas. Pronunciation practice. You could use it for pronunciation homework. Give your learners a script, make sure they understand it. It could even be a reading text or a listening transcript from the class that you've already done. And tell them to read it aloud to Otter and compare what it hears to what they think they said. They can compare the dictated results to the original and try again as often as they like. I think this is a great way to encourage autonomous pronunciation practice. And you can reassure them that Otter doesn't get everything right, even with standard accents. Error correction. If you're teaching one-to-one -one or in small groups, it's a great way to work on individual error correction. You can set up a discussion task and, with the learner's permission of course, record what they say. Then you upload this to Otter and you use the transcription to analyse the language that they've been using. You can play back parts to them, you can show them the script, you can prompt them to self-correct, you can work on emergent language, help them to say what they really wanted to say but in a more natural way. This is much easier if it's slowed down in this transcription way. You could even then repeat the discussion task and give them the opportunity to put this work into practice. Needs analysis. If you're teaching a group, it's a bit more difficult and time consuming to listen to recorded speech on a regular basis, but you could do this as a needs analysis at the beginning of a course. So ask your learners to talk about a familiar topic, maybe their hometown or a good holiday or their plans for the future. Say for 30 seconds or a minute, that's quite a long time to just talk. Get them to send you the recording and you can upload it to Otter. 
this will give you an idea of their level, their strengths, their weaknesses, and having that transcript makes it much easier and faster to refer back to. You could then do the same thing again at the end of the course to show the progress that they've made. Being able to see this, especially at lower levels where it should be quite clear, can be very motivating, I think, for learners. OK, I hope that some of those ideas were helpful. And if you want more communication activities, check out my free course at elttraining.com. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.